Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Land Dice. This game supports two to four players, it's for ages eight and up, and the average play time is roughly 40 minutes. So, this is a game where we are going to be trying to gather resources from the city of Atlantis before it sinks, and the player with the most resources um, in different categories at certain times will end up getting the most points and winning the game. It'll make more sense when we actually explain it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can actually see the board and what it all entails. So there is a black market space here. Um, any sixes that are rolled will be assigned here. Then we've got five other sections. You've got one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to put out a number of these resources uh, per section, depending on the number of players. Uh, these purple gems go in the one, these library books go in the two, uh, you've got these, I don't know what that is, mm -hmm. there's threes, fours, and fives. Um, there's, in the rule book it actually tells you what they are. I just didn't bother really to, to memorize them, but there you go. Oh, by the way, this is the rule book, it's roughly eight pages in length, there's a two player variant on the back. Worth noting real quick that I did not like the two-player variant listed here, so I actually went on BoardGameGeek and um, someone came up with their own two-player variant that does not involve a dummy player. So we're going to go ahead and use that variant, but you do what you want. Uh, what you see here is going to be the invented two-player variant. You can either use the rule book or whatever you want. All right. So here's a quick look at the box insert. These are some of the components that we're not using, the extra dice that we're not using, extra resources because of a two-player game. There are victory point markers in here. We'll be assigning those out every now and again. There is a submarine that starts on the four space. We'll be moving that around from time to time. That'll grant us extra resources when we take resources there. There's also this uh, little clock here. It starts on this little arrow here and the game will end when this travels all the way around to the water space here. Um, it'll trigger final scoring and then whoever's the most points at that point will end up winning the game. Alright, so we've set everything up for the two-player game. Uh, our typical round will play out something like this. Whoever has the first player marker, which is this, and that will change hands at the end of the round, uh, will go ahead and roll the available dice. In a two-player game, there's going to be five dice. At least that's in our two-player variant. That's the appropriate setup. We're going to roll the dice, and then we're going to... Let's just pick different numbers, because I didn't want all sixes. Uh, so the three would go there. The one would go here. We're going to put them in their matching spaces. Six. Uh, five, and we'll make that a four. There we go. And starting with the start player, you're going to go ahead and pick a die. Say, let's say that she chooses the five. She's going to choose the five, and then you're going to take a resource from that section, and she gets to keep it. Very simple, right? And then you take the action that's listed here. In the back of the rule book is a comprehensive list of all the different things uh, as far as actions go. So in case you don't know what the iconography means, you can reference that. She would then take this action. That particular action says, uh, move one resource of any kind from the blacksmith, which is the five space, uh, to any other district. So she can do something like that. She can move a sword over there. Okay, And then once she's done that, um, that will move on to me. I'll go ahead and then choose a die myself and do much the same thing. Uh, let's say I choose the four. Um, whenever you choose a die and the submarine is present there, you take two of that resource. Okay, So you get to keep that. And then the special ability here says, move the submarine anywhere. Um, I'm assuming that doesn't mean the black market. I think it means one, two, three, four, or five. So I could move the submarine over to the five or to the two, what have you. I could do that. All right. And we're going to keep going back and forth like this until there's only one die remaining. So she might take three, take the action. I might take the six, take an action. Whatever die is left over, let's say the one is left over, we're going to look to see what the clock symbols are here. Every, every one of these spaces has either one, two, or three clock symbols. This one has a three, so we're going to move the clock one, two, three. Now, different things may happen depending on where the clock lands. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that. If it lands on any of the resources spaces, we're going to immediately compare how many resources we have of that type 
whoever has the most will get a victory point out of the box. Uh, so this is swords, this is the red one here, this is the library book, um, this one, the little diamond, that means compare all resources, just count up however many you have and then whoever's the most gets a point. Uh, these black ones here are these black cubes, the purple ones are there. This little 2x one, that means that you can discard two resources that you have for one victory point. And when I say discard them, I mean you're going to put them back into their appropriate um, starting spaces. Okay? So you're going to be moving that clock around throughout the game, um, and eventually, like I said, it will reach the water space and that will signal the end of the game. If it so happens that someone takes the last uh, resource from a district, let's say that someone takes all of the uh, gems off the one space, we're immediately going to score it. We're going to immediately see, okay, who has the most resources? Uh, no, let's say I have two and Idalee has five. She, Because she has more, she's going to keep this tile and score three points at the end of the game. And then after that, we're going to take all of the gems that are currently out. We're going to put three back into the black market and then we're going to put the rest back here. If there are any purple gems that happen to be on any of these other boards, they stay there. But any that we happen to have, um, three will go in the black market and then the rest will be populated here for the next board. There's three boards per stack. So then we would observe this one. And each board has different special abilities on it. So you're going to randomize these during setup. All right, so we're going to continue taking turns, like I said, uh, rolling dice, drafting, and then taking resources, taking actions. Uh, we're going to be scoring these resources throughout the game, earning victory points, and then again, the game will end when the clock reaches this. And that's that. It's pretty simple stuff. All right, so Ida Lee has the first player, so go ahead and roll these five dice. Okay. All right, so you've got some fours, so we'll go ahead and put... Twos. And twos. Interesting. All right. Aww. All right, so it starts with you. So choose one of the dice, and you're going to take the four. Two, because the submarine is there, right? Yeah, you're going to take the four out of there and take two of those black ones. And then the special ability here is move the submarine somewhere else. Now, the rule book says that these are mandatory actions. The two-player variant that we're using says that it's optional. Mm -hmm. So... I don't care, it's our game, we do what we want. Do you want to make it a mandatory action, optional? I don't care. Um, we'll just make it optional. Do you want to move the submarine to a different area? Um, sure, why not? Where would you like to move the submarine? I will move it to... Which one's that one? <laughs> What do you mean? This ability? The, yeah, the ability. The there. ability on that one, under number two, it says roll the die you have just chosen. If you get a five or six, take one resource from any other district. I see. So if you took that one, you would have to take one of those dice? If, if you were to do this, yeah. on my turn, yeah. I have the option of taking a two. Yeah. I would get two resources, yeah. and then I would take the action here. But that action requires you to roll that dice, not that Correct. Dice, right? I would roll the die that I just took. I see. I see. Okay. Interesting. So you decide what you want to do with your submarine there. Mm -hmm. It's tough. I think... Or you can just leave it there. No. I'll do it here. On the number two? Yeah, just for you. No, just for me. Well, in that case, I will go ahead and take a number two. I'm going to get two resources because the submarine is there. And I'm going to take the action. The die that I just took, I need a five or six. It's a one. Nothing happens. Okay. So it is now your turn. I will go with the two. You're going to take the two. Mm -hmm. Now take the die that you just... Ro yep. Yeah, roll it. See what you get. Two. Two. So no special thing there. All right. Lastly, it's either a four or a four. I will take the four and I get one of the black cubes and the ability there is move the submarine somewhere else. Um, I don't think it matters at this point. I'll just move it to the three. And yeah, what are you doing? That one, right? No. Oh wait, was it still your turn? Oh yeah, it was that. Okay, sorry. I don't know what you're doing. I, I, I thought this it was is my turn. No, no, no. The round that you only get two picks. Oh, the, oh, the last one. The is last the one with the clock. Correct. Okay. I, mm -hmm. see. I see. I this see. is this is our first time playing, by the way. <laughs> 
So the last die is here. So the clock moves up one space. Was there an ability? Oh no, wait. There no ability would kick in. That because there's no die on it, right? Correct. I see. You only take an ability when you take a die. I'm making That's this it. so much more you're, complicated. You're than making up rules as you go <laughs> along. This is, this is the two-player idly variant. Yes, this is the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> the chaotic idly variant. Okay, okay. Chaos incarnate. <laughs> Alright, so now we reset everything. Um, so this goes away. I get this. And, and you moved the clock hand, right? I already moved the clock hand. So now it's a new round. Um, all of these are still populated. Alright, um, so we've got a four. We've got a five. We've got a one. We've got three more. Wow. There we go. So we've got a bunch of ones. I get first pick. Um, I'm going to choose a, well, I want to stay competitive, so I'm going to take the four and take one of those, and I can move the submarine anywhere. Um, I'm going to go, I'm just going to get it out, I'm just, I'm not going to, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I don't want you having any advantage there. Oh. All if right. you couldn't do me a solid like I did you. A before. solid. <laughs> That is the stupidest saying. Can you do me a liquid? My Can you do me a gas, hey, please? Man, Can you parents, do me a plasma? My parents have always said a do solid. me a solid. Yeah, why so not? so stupid. Oh, please. Webster's please. Dictionary does not define solid as favor. What is this one again? That one is... <laughs> um, solid. Hmm. <laughs> Move a resource from here and put it anywhere else. Ah, interesting. Not be in. Okay. And that one was to... The N okay. is um, the number three. So you can't, you couldn't move this here. I see. I'm going to take this one, actually. All right. So you're going to take a one. Mm -hmm. And the ability here is take the die that you just rolled. It's a one. Try again. That's That just repeats the action. Two. So now you get to take the action that is here, which, which is, is roll the die. Roll if you get a five or six, five. you get to take. It's a four. Ah, yeah. Dang it! All right. So I nothing. I don't even know where to put it. That's fine. All right. Um, yeah, we'll just put our resources over there. Now um, I get to choose a die. I'm going to choose number one. Mm -hmm. Stay competitive. That gives me one of these purple ones, and I'm going to take the action, which is roll the die. It's a one. <laughs> Try again. It's oh, a six. It's um, six says to re-roll. Oh. <laughs> four. Okay, so the four is move the sub. Um, so there's still the five left. I'm not going to move it over there for you. You clearly. should. Why not? It wants to go over there. Yeah. So I'm going to move <laughs> it back. I'm going to move it back to the three. All right. All right. And you have one. It's your turn. Last pick. It's either the one or the five. Ooh, nasty. Um, um, I will go with the one again. The one, all right. Mm -hmm. You get a crystal. It's a three. So that means you're going to do the ability of the three, which is um, change the value of any die and place it next to the related area. So basically change this die to something else if you want to. That will determine how many ticks this moves ahead. Ah, oh, interesting. It doesn't matter because even on a three, it's swords and no one has swords. So it's up to you. Do you want to make it move forward and no one gets, you know, it's either going to be blank, blank, or swords, depending <laughs> on where you move that die. Yeah. All right. Then let's make it interesting. Let's go with a, with a, with a one. The one. Okay. So that you can move up to three. All right. So that will end our round. We're going to take a look at the one. It's the last die remaining. There's three symbols. One, two, three. There's the swords. Uh, we immediately score swords. Do we have any swords? No. So no one gets a victory point. Okay. All right. First player moves back to you. So why did I get an extra turn? No one got an extra turn. I, got I started first. Oh, okay, okay. We each drafted two dice. Okay, I see. Roll dice. Sorry. <laughs> You're out of it. Uh, I know. I'm so tired. I'm reeling over the, the pasta. Uh, I see. Blame me for my cooking. <laughs> I, I feed her well and she complains. <laughs> three, three, four, one. one. Okay. You have first player, so you yeah. get to go first. 
Um, hmm. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Hmm. I will do... This is very, very interesting. Hmm. I am going to... Oh, man. Okay. Which one's this one again? <laughs> Change the die, uh, die, any die to a different face. Okay. I'm going to choose this one. Take two reds. All right. So you're going to take one of the blues, yeah. threes. You took two of the resources because the subs are now. Take the action. You can change any of these dice to a different die face. I'm going to change this one okay. to a four. A four, huh? All right. Well then, be that way. <laughs> My turn. Well, I don't have much choice. Um... I will take a four, and I will take one of these, and I will move the submarine to the two. It is your turn. Okay. You can either do the one or the fours. Um, I will do... Mm-hmm. Interesting. I'll do a four. Okay, so you take one of the black cubes and you move the sub. I'll move it to... Dang it. You don't have to move it if you don't want to. Oh, right there. All right. I would have done something different, but... Because really? strategy. Yeah, I'll explain why in a minute. My final draft mm -hmm. is going to be the four here. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't have mattered to you because that was your second pick anyway. Yeah. So I'm going to take this four, I'm going to take the last black cube, and then I'm going to take the action. Yes. I'm just going to move it here, it doesn't matter. But now this scores. I wanted to push that here to tempt you to get two purples. Right. So that you wouldn't score or take it from here, but mm -hmm. then I, I figured you wouldn't go for that. Right. <laughs> so I get, well, now we compare the black cubes. I have four. You have more than mine. And you have three. Mm -hmm. Right? So I get to keep this because I have the most. Nice. And now we've got a new board. These all go back. Yep. And if there were less than three on the black market, we would fill them up too. Okay. All right. Now... Okay, and now so, I have to... So only when this, when these are empty. It's not when all the resources plus the black market Correct. is empty, right? Correct. Okay, I see. Yep. So I took my action, which was move the sub. Okay, it's all good. So now we move the clock. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one is three. So that would be one, two, three. Whoever has the most library books right now will get a point. We're both tied. I've got two, you've got two. So we'll each give e each one point. Yeah. Right. If you're tied, you just yeah share. Mm, sure. <laughs> okay, um, so new round, you get oh, I get them. Okay. Did we move? We yeah, moved we moved that up. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Two sixes. I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. Two, one. Now and who's three. making up their own rules? <laughs> <laughs> So, for my first turn, I'm going to take the two, ah. and take two of these, Nice. and I'm going to roll this. If it's a five or six, I can take another resource. It's a five! Okay. What am I going to want? Um, I have a feeling that... So you can take any resource? Yeah, it says, yeah, of this, it says, um, where is that at? Uh, what is that? Two? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that says roll the die if you have just chosen. If you get a five or six, take one resource from any other district. Wow, you could score that and like win it. Any other oh, district. My bad. <clears throat> I can read. Yes, you can. <laughs> I can listen. Yes, sure. You can. I'm going to take the. Well, let's see. Based on what is left, it's either going to be that or it's going to be one, two, 
Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and stay competitive, maybe, kind of, sort of, and take a purple one. Could you have taken it in the black market, or no? I... It says district. I'm assuming these are districts, oh, and see. this is the black market. I'm assuming those are different. All right. But this is our first game, so... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, interesting. All right, so now you get to go. All right, All right this five... Take that back. Yeah. So you choose one of the dice. What's there. that ability again? Okay. This ability change a die to any other die face. I see. And take that action, right? Mm-hmm. No, just change it. You don't get to take the action there. Oh, you don't? Mm-hmm. You just change the die and move it there. Okay. Okay. I could have sworn I changed the dice and then did this and then moved the summary. <laughs> Maybe, but it's fine. I don't know. Alright, I'll just take a... You could take a six, then take anything, no action. Yeah. Take the one, take a gem, roll it, or... Yeah, I guess I'll do this one. Alright, so you're going to take the one. I'll take that and roll it, see what you get. It is a one. Try again. Oh my gosh. Four. So you get to move the sub anywhere you want. So that one changes, but not that one, right? So this one, once it rolls, you take this action, but Correct. this one you only change the face Correct. of it. Correct. Mm -hmm. I see. Alright, so I guess I will put this one definitely not there, because you're just going to take two reds. Mm-hmm. Do that one. Do this one. Do the one. Okay. My turn. Um... I am going to take from the black market, and what resource am I going to want? I kind of want to stay competitive with those purples, so I'm going to take a purple one. And that leaves one more for you. Do you want that one, or do you want this one? This one. You're gonna take the red, okay? And I have to change. This. You change this any die oh, to yeah. That's yeah. Right. So any other. You take this, and now you move this. Change the six to anything you want. Okay, keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other die. And that will be. What was this one again? The diamond. The diamond is whoever has the most resources in their pool. Period. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You've got more than me by one. So this will be a five. Yeah, you want to... Mm, you don't want that, because then okay. it'll go up to the black one. Oh, oh shoot, that's right. Don't you want one. it to be a one? Yeah, up? yeah Sorry, so I change it to a two. Yes. Yeah. To get your victory that's point. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. oh, it was. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-huh. So now that the round's over, um, <laughs> we're going to move the clock ahead one space. Whoever has the most resources gets a, a victory point. I have seven, you have eight. So you get a victory point. Okay, yeah. so good job there. All right, um, this goes back to you. Oh. Okay. You get these dice, and off you go. All right, we've got a five, we've got a five, we've got two sixes, and a two. Lately, these dice, I've been rolling really bad lately. Yeah, no, you're That's fine. crazy. All right. Um, oh, man. What is this one again? That one is move one of these to any other spot except for the inn. No, it actually didn't say that. It, I don't know where that inn came from. I must have been reading something else. Mm -hmm. It just says move one resource of any kind from the blacksmith to any other district. Oh, okay. What was I reading? It was one of these. Oh, yeah. It was number three. It was this one. Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. Okay. okay. Yeah, so you can move one of these to any other district. And that one is you can take any resource if it lands on five or six? Correct. Uh, I, I'm going to do that one anyways because you're going to score it on the next turn, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So um, go ahead and do your ability, which is roll that here. Okay. Yeah. it. To four. Okay. So no ability there. So now we score this. I've got four libraries 
books and you've got yeah. three. So I'm going to keep this. I had to take the chance. I know. <laughs> and those go back. Oops. There's three libraries here, so we don't need us to feed any there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, now it's your turn. Now my turn. All right. I will... <laughs> you totally just blew me out of No, <laughs> you've got... You've got... Yeah. I got nothing. <laughs> You're fine. All right. I'm going to take uh, a six mm. and a gem. Mm. I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. And it's your turn. The, this uh, black market has no ability. Yeah. So now you either take a six or one of the two fives. That ability is stupid, just taking this and moving it. Well, there's some strategy to ha be had there. Yeah. You can stop a board from being depleted and scoring, which you could have done there. But I didn't want to, you know. Ah! <laughs> Light bulb that just went that that face that she just made <laughs> is priceless. She got quiet. She gave me a look like, how dare you? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could have. I thought you had to get. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Okay, it's your turn. What did you do? I took from the black market. Oh, okay. So I got to take a five. <laughs> yeah. Clearly. Um, so I'm going to take the sword and I get to move one of these somewhere else. Um, Dang. I'm going to move it there. I thought like if I moved it and all these red things went away that you would score because... Let me just stuck. make sure that that's right. Empty, when a, a district yeah. is empty of resources after yeah. step C. Um, yeah, it just says if it's empty. Dang, you smart cookie, you. Mm, I could have, so. I could have too. All right. So I took mine. Two? Yeah, it moves two. So we're one, two. So now if we want to, you can give up two resources to get a victory point. I am not going to do that. Two resources all the time to get like victory points? No, oh. only one time. Yeah. Only one time. An ex right? One exchange. Two resources for one victory point. No, I won't do that either. All right. <laughs> so um, now this comes to me. The dice come to me. And start a new round. All right, four, six, six, three, one. one three, yeah. I will take. Uh, I will take these. Thank you. Wait a second. Dang it! Wait a second. No. What? Fine. There's nothing. Okay. Anyway. I, I took two because the submarine was here. I can take the die that I just rolled. I went first last round, right? Yes, you did. Dang it! Three. Why did I think I was gonna go first? I put the submarine there specifically. Mm. <laughs> Dang it. I'm gonna change a die face to something else. I will change three to a... Um, change it to a one. <laughs> I'm playing this game no. all types wrong. I'm gonna change it to two. There. I'm gonna change it to the two. Uh, all right. All right, um, so now this scores. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got four, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep this. <laughs> um, we need to put three back here because mm -hmm. there's none here, and then the rest go there. Wow. All right, and it is now your turn. <sighs> I know why you put that there, because you want to score swords, because you have more swords than I do, so. I'm not saying anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had a one in five chance of guessing right, that's all. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take a library. You got that yeah. already? Okay. Yeah. And now the ability is on that one. Uh, hold on. Uh. It says... Move one resource of any kind from the library mm -hmm. to the black market. So you're going to move uh, one resource Just, of any kind. Yeah. So which one do you want to move? Oh, um, to the black market? Yeah. So any of these resources to the black market. I'm going to try and empty that board, huh? Um, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Or, yeah. Okay. I am going to take the 
black market. Mm -hmm. And I will take the... Hmm. What am I going to want? Well, let's see what's coming up. One, two... It's another one of those discard... Uh, so yeah, it's got to, it's gonna move three. So regardless, um, so in that case, I will just take. Um, actually, maybe I should diversify a little bit. Um, I'll take a library book. All right, and then you have an option of either the six or the four. Move the sub, or just take and yeah. You know, take a black cube and move the sub, or just take anything that you want. I'm gonna take. Taking a book. All right. That leaves the four. This moves three. One, two, three. We can discard two resources, starting with the start player. I'm not gonna. You gonna do anything? No? Okay. All right. So, new round. You get the dice and the first player marker. Off you go. I'm just gonna roll all nines, aren't I? Nines, yes. Roll nines on a, a d6. Uh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, the last like few board games it's, been playing. It's well known that D sixes I have a nine face. <laughs> Six, five. You've got a nice variety here. Three. Yeah, everything you got a but straight. A one. If you had been playing Yahtzee, this everything, would have been a great roll. Everything Two, three, but four. a one. Look yeah. at that. It's well. wonderful. Um. Oops. Sorry. Good job. Oh, sorry. I kicked it. All right. Um. Hmm. I'm going to take huh. <laughs> plenty of options. Ah. Four <laughs> districts are right for the take, and plus the black market. Okay. All right, I got one. All right. I'm gonna do this. Get a black. Okay. And you're gonna move the. I'm gonna move the submarine over here. Ooh, look at that! Tempting for me. Okay. All right. So I am going to. Well, I mean, I kind of want to stay competitive with those books. You've got two books that would give me one in the lead. That might be a cool idea. Or I can do something crazy. Maybe I should do something crazy instead. Tempting, but um, what I'd like to do is I'm going to take the five, and the five, that one lets me take a sword, and then I can move one resource of any kind from the blacksmith to any other district. So I'm going to move this and put it there. Okay. It is now your turn. I'm going to move these up so the camera can see what you've got. Kind of sore. The blacks are hard to make out on the black background, but... I'm going to take this. Take the three. And get a... Sword. Taking the sword. Alright. And it says I can change... Change the die face. Yep. So if you do that, it would either be this one or this one. Changing it to the one space. All right, interesting. All right, um, I have a choice, either the two or the one. Um, two books is kind of good for me. Um, let's see where the clock would tick, though. If I were to take the two, however, it would tick one forward, and she would get a victory point for having the most reds. Whereas if I take the one and the tick advance two times, whoever has the most resources is going to get that. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've only got three. So no matter which one I choose, 
she's always got, she's going to get one victory point regardless of where this ends up. So I'm just going to take the extra books. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the two. I'm going to take these, and then the action is um, mm -hmm. move one resource of any kind from the library to the black market. So I'm going to do that and yeah, put that there because there's no other. Yeah. All right. So that moves forward one. You get the victory point because you have the most reds. There's so many mistakes that I'm making. I shouldn't. You're have done not that. making mistakes. No, I shouldn't have done that. Dang it. Oh. Four, five, one, two, one. Okay. Well, I <laughs> probably want to take those library books. Um, yeah, I think I will because of the ability there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two, take the library books, That's crazy. and then the ability on that is move one resource of any kind from the library to the black market. Wow. So there you go. It's now empty. So whoever has the most library books gets to keep this. I've got five. You've got two. So... Oh, yeah, I think you're going to win this. I, I have three I, points. I That's equal to one of your cards. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Is there three here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Lord. Um, so that ends my turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, which one's that one? <laughs> this ability? Yeah. That's a new one. Uh, let's see. One. Roll the die you've just chosen. If you get a one, three, or five, take one more resource from the jeweler. So one with a possibility, 50-50 chance of getting a second one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. all right, I'll take one. All right, and now roll that, see what you get. One, three, five. One, three, five. It's a one. Very good. You get to take one more resource. I am shocked. So now you have some purples there. I'm shocked that it wasn't a freaking seven. Mm. <laughs> I am going to take the five, take a sword, mm -hmm. and then I can move a sword to somewhere else. I'm going to move it there. Of course. Because <laughs> why not? It loves the inn. These swords, they love it. They love being in the inn. Mm. Yes. All right, all you. Okay. You've got the one or the four. <sighs> okay. I will take the one. The one? Mm -hmm. Roll that, see what you get. There's one gem. Come on, odd, 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 odd. There you go. We got another one. Yeah, look at you trying to root for me. Just like I am rooting for you. Yeah, okay. You trying to take a victory point out of it? Yeah, I, I saw you. <laughs> I thought it was a victory point. Your hand point. went in. You there. said one, one, one. I almost took one. And I see. <laughs> <laughs> cheater. All right, there you go. I'm not a cheater. I know. I know. Jeez. You're fine. You're fine. All right, there you go. We we up the clock. Yes. Three. One, two, three. Do we want to give up resources for a victory point? I do. Are you give up? <laughs> the reds. Two reds for a victory point. Yeah. All right. So put the reds back here, and you get a victory point. Big deal. All right. New round. New dice. Go for it. I thought you were rolling. First. I just moved it. No. It's you. Are you sure? I just I just moved that over here, along with the dice. You just went last. Yeah. That means I went first. Are you sure? Yeah. If you went last, me, you, me, you, you just went last. Okay. Now it's opposite. Don't worry. Trust me. It makes sense. Okay. I could have... Okay. Remember when I said uh, I'm surprised I didn't roll a seven? That was the round before that. Was it? I don't even remember. <laughs> God. I'm so confused. You need to play more 5D chess. Four, four... Six yeah, goes six here. I meant to put that there. Right. <laughs> I don't know why. You get first pick. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh.
You got this. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Okay. God, I don't even know. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't like any of these. <laughs> you don't? No. Because it doesn't matter. You're going to score this one. <laughs> okay. Alright. I will choose this. Okay. And get a black. Okay. And now you can move the sub. I'm going to move the sub here. Alright. What you could have done to stop me, take the three, change the five to something else. I hate this game. I really hate this game. <laughs> I will game. take the five, however. Um, and take the last sword. Um, I keep thinking you have to change the face of the one that you're taking. No. <laughs> Who has the most swords? Me. I will take that. Okay, so we've got that there. That there. Alright. Alright, so folks, now that we know how to play this, you know. Yeah, now we're going to start from scratch. You know. <laughs> I'm ready for my review. <laughs> I'm sure you are. All right, you get to choose one of the three dice. Six, four, or three. You got some free dice. There are two of these looking at you right in the face. You can mm -hmm. choose one of those. This is my second dice. Be starting first, I think, is like a bad, a bad mm, thing. Oh no, because you know, getting first picks where the, if the submarine's there, you know, you'll have first dibs on that. It's very odd to see two dice together on one. Just yeah, the odds but... of getting two dice on one location mm. and the sub being on that space to where you can move it, it's very high. No, I don't know. Um, whatever. I'll just take this one. Taking the three. You can take any of the resource there. Does not really matter. Alright, then you change the die face from something to something. From the four to... A one. One. Fine. I am going to take... You are tempting. Okay, so if... Well, see, here's the thing, though. I, I want this to move up three, so I will take the one. Mm -hmm. be, I, I want this game to be over soon. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the one. Mm -hmm. i got to roll it. If it's I want an even, I don't want to take another one. There. Okay, good. Six. Because um, I don't want to deplete this sooner than necessary, because you're going to win. So um, win. one is over. So we've got three here. Yeah. One, two, three. So now you can give up two resources to take a victory point. I might as well. Okay. Um, all right. So, dice come. Turn. Yeah, dice come back to me. All right. This may be the last round. We'll see. Three, one, one, two, four. Well, this is clearly going to get taken at some point. Um, if I take it now, uh, even if I get both, it's still four to three. So there's no point in me doing that. Um, I think what I will do is maybe I will take, what does that mean? If you, if the die you have just taken is the second die you've taken this round, take one extra resource. Interesting. Um, I will do the three and take a sword and... Then, for the ability, I'm going to change the die face from a 1 to a 5. Mm. What is that ability, though? That's a new one. Uh, roll the die you've just been chosen. If you get a 6, take one resource from the black market. I don't see a problem with that. Um, yeah, I'll make it a 5. That's fine. Alright, all you. I'm taking this one. Take a black. All right. Moving did, the submarine. Did you take two of them? No, I took just the one. Well, the submarine was there, so you get oh, two. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. All right. You really want that? That you're gonna take that? I don't have any cars. I know. <laughs> you really don't want me to have any of it. 
Well, this is the last round because if you're going to take that one, mm -hmm. that leaves the clock moving ahead three. Mm. So the game's going to be over. Um, I will take the... I'll take this one, the two, and because it was the second die I took this round, I get to take another one. Mm -hmm. um, all right, and all you, you're going to take that one? Yes. All right, so you get that. Um, if you rolled a one, three, or five, you would have gotten more, but no. yeah, it's kind of late. <laughs> I don't care. All right, so you've got more than I do, mm -hmm. so you get to keep this. Oh, boy, the my gems first come back. one. You got your first one. Good job. All right. And now we move the clock ahead three, and that ends the game. So now we compare. <laughs> Good lord. So three. <laughs> I have. I don't know how many I have. One, you two, have three, four, five. I have five. It's fifteen. 15. Six. Sixteen points. Jeez. What did you think of this? I, I have already know. Eight. <laughs> you just beat me by fifty percent. One hundred percent. Wait. What? Hundred percent. I have eight. You have sixteen. Hundred percent of. Yeah, 100% of 8 is 8, so that's 16. 8 plus 8 is 6. That's 100% bonus. I thought it was the 50%. 50 50% would have been 12. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> I need to take a nap. Math. Go lay down. Like, what did you think of <laughs> I, like, I, I think I would like this name, this game after my nap. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I'm getting old. I will tell you, it's not a bad game. This game is definitely more about timing than anything else. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of um, there's a lot of timing with the clock, trying to time it so that okay, um, which resource do I take so that the clock lands on what I need it to land on to get that extra point? Oh, this board is about to go out. Do I take it? Do I let my opponent take it? And then you know, it depends on how many we each have. Um, there, again, there's a lot of timing involved. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like that aspect of it. You got to play smart and think about, you got to think ahead and go, what, what would my opponent do, you know, on the next turn? What would my opponent take? Um, you could go after one resource, but if you start taking too many, then there's no reason for you to, to compete. Like, for example, she had three reds over there. When I saw that, I'm like, I'm never going to take them anymore because I don't, I don't, I, I would never be able to catch up with her. So I'll let her waste her dice trying to get the rest of them to score that board. So rather, I was trying to stay competitive in other areas. Mm. Um, but that was, again, it's, it's more about strategy and timing, I think, with this game. But it's still pretty casual. Um, the iconography takes a little bit of getting used to, but uh, we got... We got acclimated pretty quickly, I think. The, I sure didn't. <laughs> well, you're fine. The components um, were okay. I like the blue dice for sure. Um, I like that each board has different abilities, so you can shuffle each of these stacks of three, and you'll end up with different abilities. Um, that de This one ability over here definitely helped me out mm -hmm. get rid of those swords and, and clutter up that board so she couldn't score it. A lot of take that mechanics, too. Yeah. Because when you're reassigning dice or moving things around, you're blocking other people potentially, and some people may not like that. Uh, that's kind of, that style of competitive play. And I actually like the two-player variant that I found on Board Game Geek. I would not have enjoyed this with a third-party dummy player, I think. Uh, I'm going to ask anyway, what, what did you think? Um, other than the take that mechanic, mm -hmm. I actually really enjoyed it. Did you? I did. I, I thought you would hate no, I even though I got slaughtered in it, I actually <laughs> salty. <laughs> is that what is that what, is that the correct term? No, because because I'm not mad. Oh, yeah, okay. I know I played like very inefficiently. No, you um, did, you're fine. Yeah, so for your first go, not knowing what you were doing. Mm, oh, well, it's your first go too, and you beat me by what is it? Eighty percent. It was a hundred percent. Eighty percent. Yes. <laughs> 8 to 16 is 80%. That's fine. So... <laughs> One million percent! <laughs> Ooh, brother! I, I like this game. I thought, was, I thought it was a fun game. I just don't like a very competitive style. Mm. Like, I'm not a competitive person. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I didn't like to take that mechanics. But I did I did enjoy the stra strategic sense. I thought cool. it was cool. I liked I liked this whole little clock thing. Yeah, that was cool. I liked the, icon the icons. Although... I would need to play this a lot more times in order to wrap my head around it mm -hmm. because um, I keep 
I keep thinking, oh, you have to roll the dice and then it chains, or you have to like change the face and then cha- get another. Right. It's just it's confusing. To each me. ability is a little different, yeah. so it takes some getting used to what each one can do. Yeah, but I actually didn't mind it. It was pretty okay. Mm-hmm. And you like the quality was okay. I did. I like the quality. These are. It's so cute how it was put together. Like everything's modular, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, I liked it. It was fine. It needs more dice, but more you know. dice. There's more in the box. <laughs> we should have used all of it. You know. It'd be interesting to see. You know, three picks per turn, three picks per round as opposed to two. But mm-hmm. I don't know if that would break the game or not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like this is definitely a lighter game. Mm-hmm. So if there are any families out there looking for a lighter strategy game one that's smaller easier to play um aside from the iconography you can jump into this pretty easily again the rule book's only roughly eight pages long and it takes under an hour to play so yeah i would recommend this one at you know maybe a 20 dollars price tag roughly mm-hmm. it sounds about right so any other comments before we ship out it's good i rate it like a 6.5 out of out of 10 i guess good job or seven i don't rate things well i, I do like, but only yeah oh sorry i like rating things go rate things go ahead you know 6.5 out of yeah. out of 10. my hair is probably right now like at a 4.5 out of 10. you know the clothing i'm wearing is probably like around a Eight you missed your calling as one of those judges at the Olympics <laughs> that holds up a number. Someone picks their nose eight. <laughs> These little dice, I, I, I say ten ten out of that. Good job. <laughs> Atlant dice, there you go. I, the name though isn't very catchy. Atlant. I keep wanting to say Atlantic dice, Atlanta dice, dice. but it's Atlan dice. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't really roll off the tongue very well. Atlant ice. Right? At land dice. <laughs> sure. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Natalie. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.